Hi, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Let me tag some friends. Hi guys. Okay, I think I've done plenty. Let's see. Hi, good morning. Sorry, Bex. Um, I'm a bit late <laughs> talking to you. So then, it took me ages to um set up because I wasn't planning very well today. Sorry for being a bit late today, guys. Um. Becca, these one are um, it's on my um, Apple Music, and it's royalty-free music because the other day I put some music in the background, and YouTube caught me and said I've used some music and I can't um, post it for some bizarre reason. So um, basically, just like um, just type in royalty-free, so then it's okay. Morning, Shannon. How are you? Gosh, um, six a.m. You got up. That's crazy. <laughs> so I think, guys, I'm gonna cut my hair today. I wonder if I should video it. <laughs> mm, maybe I should. I'm just gonna cut. According to my mom, <laughs> I know how to cut hair, but I don't know how to cut your own hair. But she cut her own hair all the time. Um, Obviously, there are specific looks that you can. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Hi, Alan. Um, basically, um, you know, if you want like a blunt cut, it's harder to cut yourself. Um, but if you do, morning, Serena. Um, good morning, Margaret. Um, you know, but if you're gonna wanna cut like, kind of like, graduated, f longer at the back, I think I can achieve that. I'm gonna Skype my mom and um, see if she can give me direction. But the last time I've done um, cutting my own hair with my mom on um, the other end of the phone in Bangkok, um, it went really wrong. <laughs> but because I, you know, I've got a bit of um, hair cutting skills now, <laughs> so hopefully that might work. She just kept saying, just bring it to the front, darling. Just bring it to the front. I'm like, hmm. I don't think that's gonna work what we'll see maybe I should video it so today um, since we're a little bit late um, we're gonna do finish our butterflies and then um, continue on to our bumblebees that we um, painted okay so let's switch the screen onto the other side and um, I'll see you very soon Namaste. bye right oops 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 I kicked it I kicked it sorry Got such elephant feet okay so um, there are so many ways that you can um, put in the details of the butterflies okay but this particular one um, that I was doing I'm just gonna show you quickly um, hi thank you Rin so this is like a um, sketchy sketchy okay you use a like, quite dry felt tip pen it feels really weird to draw on when it's not quite perfect it's really really weird for me but it's quite nice to let it go sometimes okay oh this is like one of my poems so um since yesterday when i made a boo-boo out of my um my book i cut it out guys i cut it out look i hated it so much <laughs> So anyway, um, we're just going to continue on doing on this page, okay? And then we can come back to it, to my book later. Okay, so... Um, morning everybody who's just joined me. And um, I just noticed that I keep making a splash on my mirror. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper behind, well, in front of the mirror. So I don't do a splash on it. Because then I clean it. I have to clean it afterwards. It's my makeup mirror. This is my makeup table, guys. 
<laughs> okay, so um, you can either go in with the pen and do a sc scratchy scratchy type like what I did. I should have chatted it. Oh, there it is. So you can do scratchy type like what I did here or a bit more in details, okay? Um, let me see if I can show you something. Um, look at this wings. I found this book on, um, it said how to draw a fairy um, book. And um, actually how to draw a fairy. Lovely, lovely um, artist called Linda Ravenscroft. Okay, um, it's quite a cute book. Um, whimsical but in an old-fashioned way I would say so she's into botanical and fairies um, maybe we should do human face one day but it's a uh, you required a bit of drawing skills as well you see okay and let me see if I can see any fairies actually painted with the wings on it's very simple guys look um, can you see the wings um, just gradation from um, dark green to pale green and then ink details in black with the wings see okay and let me see if there's any more wings this girl's got black wings that's amazing I like that I love it okay and maybe one more This girl, she's got um, lots of little tiny um, wings. I guess maybe she's not grown properly yet. And look at that cute bumblebees, absolutely adorable. Okay, so let's do our wing details, whichever way you like, okay? Um, I'm gonna do, oh, one more to show. Oh, I'm gonna do um, peacock feathers one day, guys. Let's do peacock feathers because it's one of my favorite so cute look so simple okay right let's do this we can do peacock feathers one day look at it it's so beautiful we'll do like loose painting obviously not gonna be high details because we'll be here forever right okay so the first one i'm gonna do scratchy scratchy here okay um, with black pen and you can use a um, nip ink pen as well okay I have yet to master that skills it's require a little bit of skills I think because the ink doesn't seem to flow beautifully for me and maybe it's a type of paper I use it's like textured it's harder to um, to use a uh, you know for for pen and ink Okay. So just look at the real picture of um butterflies, okay? I've got some on my iPad here. But if you already like your um, butterflies loose like so, feel free to just leave it like that, okay guys? No big deal. Okay, and then... Um, this one, I'm gonna come in because I already have some pencil line out here, so I can't really not doing it now. You can, um, you know, make it as you can dramatize it 
at your own artistic license because this is some um, fantasy butterfly guys <laughs> And you can do hatching a little bit to add a bit of depth and color if you want to, okay? Like that. And I'm gonna keep turning my project, okay? Morning Paula, how are you today? We're just finishing off our butterfly from yesterday, okay? And I'm just gonna add a bit of a cross hatching. Um, another color that um, is fantastic to, for outlines is um, the color called sepia. Or brown because then it's not too harsh if that's your style you can use brown um, or if you use like a black watercolor or indigo watercolor or even dark purple um, that will just fade it out a little bit more so you know it depends on how you want your effect really okay this one I probably gonna um, individually trim them out and put them on my watercolor book back on as a collage because you know that's a terrible piece of paper now <laughs> terrible okay um, or you you know if you want to add more texture you can even use like color pencil as well okay there's no right or wrong here Depends on how you like it. This is like a bit more of a, I don't know, pen and ink, illustrative type of style, okay? That's all, okay? Like so. This one I'm gonna add some kind of bat wing ish looking. Like so. Okay. And just see the way I do it is not solid line. And you know, it doesn't have to be all touching each other and that will give you that kind of airy and light feel to, to your work, if that what you like. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can show you how to use them, um, if it works. The coloring pencils, if you have any, or felt tip pens, anything really, just so you know there's no right or wrong here. I'm gonna use like a, um, what color is this? Indigo, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna do, so it's a softer type of shadow. Okay. Like that. You don't have to be restricted and just use um, one type of medium. Okay, just be free. You, you can imagine spending ages on um, on your butterflies, can't you? <laughs> it's just, you know, um, you're your own enemy. You can be as loose as you want, as detailed as you want. I'm gonna change my pencil color. 
if you haven't got some pencil color I can recommend some if you if you like like that okay thank you Alan I like that um, emoji and they so cute are there any other color butterflies emoji I don't know okay and um, we're gonna move on to our bumblebees um, and um, that's really really cute you can make it cartoony you can make it realistic okay so let's see if I can do it I'm gonna do one with watercolor and one with pen okay I'm gonna do that one in watercolor so I'm gonna come in again with indigo because that's quite dark color for me or you can use Payne's gray or black okay or um, I think yeah Payne's gray or black would be the one for you guys oh I have my palette wrong way around yeah, I teach my kids, um, my youngest here as well. So this is like a multitask table, which is very annoying because it's a small one. Very narrow. It's about a foot and a bit. But due to space, I couldn't possibly have any bigger. Okay, um, let me just get a picture of my bumblebee that I loaded up beforehand. And you know, um, this one I like a downward looking like bird's eye view of the bumblebee but don't be afraid to try different shapes of bumblebee as well look how cute look at that the just position the way of the wings translucent wings and um, the way their legs are positioning on the flower so you can paint your flowers and have bumblebee um, onto your flower resting on your you know flowers okay and um, have I got any more I'm sure I have um oh yeah i went for a walk in the bluebell woods yesterday oh my god it's beautiful it's about a mile away from where i am and um so i took loads of pictures and i'm pl i'm planning to paint some more um bluebells ah look at this um so that's a really good representation of the bumblebees when he's got the wings down okay so that's a good one to look at but it's got like two sets of wings I think okay so they're different I think that's wasps isn't it <laughs> yeah look at this adorable one so I'm gonna use this picture to reference for my um, feathery nest okay right okay so my watercolor ready we have a little head here okay and it doesn't have to be again not fully painted okay just give it a little bit of light and shade okay and again you can go in um, dark later so don't be you know don't be too heavy-handed and just scratch in guys I just use like the tip of my brush okay because it's quite a small one um, a small bumblebee to paint here um, and then just keep you know adding on the fur the fluffiness <laughs> the fur I don't know what you call them okay and then another one here you can see I just didn't draw like a, a straight line like that I draw slightly curve on either side of the body just to give you an impression that it's curvy body okay and the more irregular the better okay right and then antennae okay and then I'm coming in with a really really weak gray on I'm gonna do the wings now so you can get like really light gray for translucent and then I'm gonna come in here Oh, this one I'm gonna do like a spread the wings out I 
Uh, I shouldn't have painted that um, scratchy mark on there because I'm just making a mess of my bees now. Okay, and leave that to dry. So we're gonna come back to that bees in a minute. Let's go to another one now. Let's do again. Head. Hee, <laughs> cute. And scratchy, scratchy. Like so, okay? And then the wings. This one I'm gonna do Arresting wings. <laughs> okay. I might be falling asleep in a minute with the music. Okay. And for this big fat bumblebee here, I'm going to use my pen. Okay. Going with scratching technique. And I'm just going to do a little bit of outline on the yellow area, okay? like so okay and then this one might, the first bumblebee might be ready to add the details. So I'm just going to come in and add a bit of darker details on the yellow area. Too weak. Might need a smaller brush. Where's my tiny brush? Ah, found it. Wings still not quite dry. Just gonna add really weak um, marking on the yellow area as well, just to suggest that. Um, you know, just to describe that, your bumblebees are quite fluffy. Okay. And back to this one. You can add more layers of the wing, you know, the, the fur as well. Okay. It's not quite dried yet. None of them are dried. <laughs> Maybe I can come in and color the wings here. I'm doing purple here, just for cuteness. Doesn't have to be reals. And I'm gonna absorb the ink out a little bit so it's not too bright in your face. Okay, 
and I'm going to come in and color in this area a little bit. If your ink is waterproof, you can do this, okay? You can paint over the ink, um, but if your ink's not, then it will just bleed all over the place. Just be mindful about that. Just going to add a little bit of darker areas of my bumblebee because it's too stark in yellow. The little ones seem not to be too much, but the big ones seem to be very, very loud in yellow. <laughs> Why? I have no idea. Okay. There you go. And let's see if these are dried. No. These wings are annoying. <laughs> Not quite dried. How are you guys getting on? And you can come in with um, pens. Or you can go in with your watercolor as well. For softness. You get different effect. Okay, like so. Cute! <laughs> and you can come in on, I'm just going to add a bit more pen to add more depth. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. If you want to use that, then use that, okay? Okay, for this one, it's not sure if that's dried enough for me to go in soon. We'll find out. Okay, scared, scared. <laughs> oh, that's fine, okay. 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 Voila. And I'm going to add Maybe this one, I'm going to add legs. Don't really want to, it's scary to add legs. Look at the real things and then you can, you know. The best to study the real things. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma. Um, yeah. Okay. And then so if they are flying, their legs might not be sticking out, guys. Okay. And um, let's move on to the next level. So we're going to do monochrome pa painting, something easy and relaxed and we can um, meditate with. Um, basically... We're just going to paint all the flowers that you learned in one color, okay, and the leaf as well. So um, choose your color and go for it. You can have blue, you can have black, you can have green, pink, purple, but the whole page is going to be the same one color, okay? And um, I'm going to choose um, a blue, okay? I'm just going to go for that blue, I think. 
and um, I'm gonna paint it in the shape of circle okay you can paint the whole page with no shape but I'm gonna paint it in circle um, have I got anything circle that I can draw from See, this is too big. Too big. <sighs> A touch too big. Maybe I'll do it. Who cares? Doesn't matter. You can do smaller. No, that's too big. Way, way too big. Now. <coughs> oh, okay. Maybe this. That's too small. Oh well. Or you can paint in the shape of donut. Just that area. <laughs> okay. Mm. We'll see. You can have a wreath, like a big thick wreath. We haven't done big thick wreath yet, have we? Just done small, thin, simple. Okay, again, because I don't want my pencil to show, I'm going to um, dab my pencil lines off first because I don't want it to show. If you have better way to do this, do it. But I like mine violently pouncing onto my page. Okay, so I'm going to do... Um, where's my brush? Okay. I'm gonna do blue, okay? Or you can have two tones of blue, you know, if you want to add more interest to your paint, okay? But I'm gonna do blue and white. It's like, um, it's almost like the pottery kind of thing. Porcelain. Is that the one? <laughs> Might have to mix a little bit between that blue and that blue. Hi, Deb. You know what? It doesn't matter what blue. It's just a process that we're going to do it together. Okay? So, um, let's go, let's go. Whatever flowers you like, okay? I would like my blue to be richer than this, but maybe I'll add some darker blue. Whoops. I just splashed some paint onto my, my blue. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit of darker blue on my rose don't forget to add some um, leaves as well when you go when you go along with this okay so Be as loose as you can. Don't want any tight drawing of lines, okay? Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. We're meditating, we just paint to fill the space, okay? some leaves here and it's okay to go outside the, 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 the shape that you're going for a little bit okay
just fill the space. Oh, what other cut flowers can I do? Daisy type. You can have it um, airy or um, close knit like what I've done here, okay? And I um, feel like I need to turn the project around a little bit. Maybe I'll do small flower here. Like so. And then maybe I'll come out here. Do my bluebell types of flowers. Like so. Add some leaves. Please add some leaves as you go along. Okay. You can have tulips, you can have peony. Okay, keep adding on to your colors. And if your paint started to get wishy-washy, you can always add more into your um, drop in the pigment, okay? Just like that. Charge it in. Okay. Oops. Now, tricky, tricky. I am um, getting my hands on my wet paint. Keep building it up, okay, and um, let's put some flowers here. It doesn't have to be any particular type of flowers, it can be just abstract. Okay, let's fill it up. And here I think I'm going to do some leaves then I'm just gonna add a little bit of leaves on the outside doesn't have to be any particular leaves, okay? Just to soften up the circle. There you go. Mm, is it quite circle? Not quite circle.
Let me look up. I'm going to stand up and have a look. Okay. Yeah, that will do. And you know, if you have um some gold pen, you can add the center of the flowers in gold. But um, I'm gonna use um, yellow ochre. Blue and yellow ochre always goes really, really well together. You can add the center of the flowers in orange, yellow, anything that opposite to blue, okay? Like that. look around see anywhere that need to balance out a little bit just go for it doesn't even have to be the center of the flower <laughs> there you go okay and if you want to write the word you can write the word or just leave it like that okay guys so that's it for today and um, I hope you enjoy it. So just go off and make lots of circles with in different colors. Um, but I prefer, oh, black and the black one would look great as well. And this particular type, you can paint it in acrylic paint, um, you know, any type of colors at all. Okay, so um, until next time, well, tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Oh, guys, it's the day 30 today. Wow. So talk to you soon. Bye.